हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑन ग्नू खाता द पॉपुलर फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर दैट ऑटोमेट्स अकाउंटिंग फॉर यू एंड ईज इज योर बिजनेस दिस इज द फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर गेटिंग यू स्टार्टेड इन दिस वी विल लर्न टू सेट अप द कंपनी टू बी रेडी टू बी यूज सो लेट्स बिगिन वी आर ऑन द कंपनी सेटअप विजर्ट स्क्रीन द फर्स्ट field as you can obviously see is for entering the company name we'll enter the name here many people like to change the case for their accounts so they might choose an upper case lower case by default it is as is so we'll select the same option the speciality of our software is that we also cater to non government organizations ngos non profits etc Uh, how we do that we'll see in the later tutorials but for now we will select profit making as a company type and then all accountants or people who do trade would know that we have to enter the financial year for which we wish to maintain the books invoices etc so let's enter the financial year now we are going to select some very interesting features here we can see that we can decide how we wish to use gnu khata for our requirements there are various levels of usage if you are strictly an accountant and only maintain accounts you can choose the accounting only option if you are a trader and also do invoicing which is by default selected here then there is the option with accounting and invoice but in addition it also has bill tracking system so if you have let's say business done on credit basis so you can adjust the bills later on so you can select that how we do that we'll obviously see in the next tutorial this is a beginner tutorial and the last option is all these options plus managing your products managing your stocks so you can have documents like delivery chalan sales purchase order etc but we are going to take the default after that this is one of the specialities of our software you need not know accounts well you can understand that when you have to submit your books for auditing or even for gst compliance and all you have to have the accounting entries the bookkeeping so to speak in layman's language it's all about credit and debit but most of us don't know isn't it so here is an option wherein you can just do your receipts and payments in a layman's language that is you just select the party and do the payments how we do that will be in a later tutorial but this is one feature one of those features which actually helps you automate your accounts moving on we can choose to have sales and purchase vouchers generated automatically while you do your invoicing so well guys this is one step ahead so which means that you did not set and keep entering your purchase vouchers receipt vouchers sales vouchers etc uh you know you can just do it by invoicing how we do all this of course we'll see in a later tutorial but let me tell you right now whether it be cash or may it be credit you can actually do your invoices and let gnu khata do accounting for you moving on now that we have selected the automation mode for gnu khata that is to generate sales and purchase vouchers for our invoices we need to make a decision here whether we want a single sales and a single purchase ledger or do we want ledgers on a per product basis by default as you can see the option is per product because most of the traders would prefer it that way that also helps us to generate the profit and loss statement and balance sheets in the way all accountants and auditors prefer after that the next option as you can see here friends it is about auto generating voucher numbers it's unselected but we'll select it and then proceed now here we'll have to set up our company profile there are the details as you can see on the screen you'll also have to add your gst in and also add the gst rates for the product or services which you either buy or sell so let's go through it quickly by now you must have already had an idea of how easy it is to use gnu khata it is easy to set up and as the series will proceed 
you will find gnu khata more and more compelling to ease your business or trade and it will actually make your work enjoyable by reducing all those tedious things which you will have to do so we are quickly filling in the details here here i would also like to mention that gnu khata can also be run on a cloud a cloud based service can be purchased or you can download it for free and just use it on your machines locally so we'll proceed to the next screen so here we are going to create the administrative user the first user and the most important user later on you can create more so we'll quickly fill in the details after filling the details we will be in the main screen there you are that's the main screen you can see there are some suggested actions which you can immediately start doing gnu khata actually suggests you what you can do that's another part of our user experience so i am now going to take you quickly through a tour of the features we are not going to see in details what those features are but just for your knowledge and to give you an idea of what is to come up next we'll just go through all the menus is the master menu and the transaction menu and the reports and so many menus are here and there are several options as you can see all those things which any professional quality accounting and inventory software should provide and in some cases gnu khata provides more than that now you must be wondering that the organization is set up and we have talked about automation we selected a few options what could be the result of that the first thing i would like to show to you is the chart of accounts yes you're right the account ledger heads which gnu khata automatically creates for you so let's go there and have a look as you will see there are a lot of ledger heads accounts created here and you would realize it that these are generally the accounts which you create or which you like to create and also these are the accounts which most often than not your accountants or auditors will recommend you to create so this has been done automatically for you by gnu khata the bank account the cash account and as you create products as you create customers or suppliers all their corresponding ledger heads will be created how that is done we are going to see in the upcoming few tutorials so until then this is krishnakant mane signing off goodbye and have a nice day